We can see Ukraine yellow and blue colors adorning a huge rally today in Washington, D.C., held in the mall at the Lincoln Memorial. It's there to support and call on Congress to continue sending military and financial aid to face the barbaric aggression from Vladimir Putin. Many of those protesters now at the mall, as you can see, uh, gathering uh, perhaps to uh, uh, have a march in Washington, D.C. They cheering and supporting the side of democracy and Western values as the world remains inspired by the spirit and determination of the Ukrainians. One of the Ukrainian-American activists who was at the rally joins us from Washington now. She is Maria Soroko, a co-founder and president of Razom for Ukraine, a nonprofit that has been supporting Ukrainian troops since 2014. Maria, welcome back. You've been on with us uh, in the past several times. And now, though, it's one year of this war. What is the message of, of the rally held today and your message to Vladimir Putin? Thank you, Eric. It's been a great pleasure being part of your show, and I wanted to thank you for being so, so supportive of Ukraine. Um, the message that we have to Vladimir Putin today is that we're here. We are not occupied by Russia, and we never will. It's time to go home. But really, the second part of the mission of the rally is gratitude. It's an absolute gratitude to the American people. If not the support of the American people, I don't know what would happen to my father who lives in Kiev. Today I called him and he told me that he went to theater. And I was so happy to hear that. You know, he's trying to resume his normal life. He said there was only one air siren for 30 minutes um, and they were able to go back and, 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 and see the play. There are many, many examples of brave Americans that are now in Ukraine. One, one group in particular that I would like to highlight and thank personally is the American veterans. These are the people that understand what Ukraine is going through more than anyone else. These are the people that I know are in Ukraine volunteering and making sure that we win this war. Another group. I was going to ask, as, as you show the gratitude of the U.S. and Americans, there are some calls on Capitol Hill, and there have been, you know, to perhaps cut the funding, uh, people wondering, why are we spending so much money, taxpayer money, for Ukraine? What are your concerns about that? What would you tell those people who question that support? Well, first of all, I would say that's a great question. You know, I am an American citizen. I live in New Jersey, a state that is the most taxed state in the whole of the United States. I want to know where my money is going. I want to know how money is being spent in Ukraine. I want oversight, and I'm, again, very grateful that Congress has, has implemented $42 million for the op oversight programs. I also wanted to tell you that every single person in Ukraine is watching every single dollar given to Ukrainian government and to humanitarian aid. Every dollar lost means a life lost. This is no longer just a question of corruption. This is a question of life and death. And we have Western countries led by United States willing to sacrifice and give to Ukraine and give to really have Ukraine fight for all of us and destroy this evil. We will make sure that every single dollar is accounted for. And finally, what were your thoughts on seeing President Biden in Kyiv walking alongside President Zelensky? He even went to some shops, uh, you know, <laughs> while he was there, uh, meeting there people, talking to people. And, and your thoughts about the president's support, as well as your thoughts about average Americans sitting at home right now, sharing this fight with you. I know every, I, it was a wonderful morning on Monday when we all saw images of President Biden in Kiev and not just in Poland. Uh, I was extremely proud to see that of, of support of the United States in that visual aspect. Um, I think it is important for us to know that the end is near. Everyone is asking a question, when will the war end? The war will, will end when every single person will do at least something to bring us closer to victory. You know, wear a pin, 
that has a Ukrainian flag. It's important for people to keep that in mind, that the war is happening. Talk to your representatives. Tell them that you support Ukraine, and don't be timid about it. There is nothing to be timid about. It's important to know that the war is still happening, and when we all come together, it will end faster. Maria Soroka of RASM for Ukraine attended the huge rally that's ongoing and continues now in Washington, D.C. Maria, thank you for coming on. Thank you uh, for your activism on behalf of uh, the Ukrainian people, uh, what they fight for and what they face.